Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. If you enjoy the content, this is going to be the Reading Royals preseason recap as the first edition of the Royal Take. As our Royals look good in the preseason, winning 4 to nothing and 4-2 to two when it came to the two preseason games they played. So let's get right into it. In the first game, Kenny Hossinger played a great game, was able to have two goals, picked his spot on the one, and then also Jackson Cressy played a great game. In the first goal of the game, was able to force it in past the pads there, and then got the assist by Grant Cooper, who also had an assist on all three of the first goals of that game. So Coop came out to play this year when he came for the Reading Royal to start the preseason, had an assist on the Cressy goal, the first goal of the first preseason game, the Kenny Hossinger goal, the second goal, and the third goal by Kenny Hossinger, which was also assisted by Jared Brandt when he came to the third goal. And then in the final goal, Jacob Pritchard had it assisted by Kyle McKenzie and Mike Chen. Also, Frank Dechar was playing very good, very physical this weekend. Really liked everything I saw from his game in terms of the shots. In game one of the preseason, it was 13-12 to in the first for our Royals, 9-5 to in the second, and then even at 9-9 for a 31-26 to total at the end of game one. Um, in game one, when it came to our Reading Royals, I thought that Kirill Ustamenko obviously looked really good as I bring up his numbers. He had 26 save and obviously the 1,000 save percentage. Ryan Ruck, who came over from college, uh, in 1920, he last played for Colorado College after playing at Northeastern University for four years before that. Then he played in the Southern League last year for the Macon Mayhem. He did not get put in the game. He was the backup to Kirill that game, but that brings in another young undrafted guy that the Flyers were able to bring in, well, the Reading Royals were able to bring in at the Flyers' lowest level of development to see what he's able to do and see if he can work his way up. And then Alex, I always mispronounce his name, but Alex Sock. Kel Laropoulos was in net for the Anirondack Thunder, and he obviously did not have that good of a tilt. The The um, Reading Royals were really able to pressure him and really have a good game. I would say the players of this game were obviously early on. Uh, Grant Cooper, he was able to get three assists on the goal, and also Kenny Halsinger for being able to pot two goals, plus Kirill the Thrill Ustamenko for being able to get that shutout in the first preseason game. So I would definitely give them the players of that first tilt. Now when we go into the second game here, the 4-2 win over the Anirondack Thunder, in that game, our Phantoms, or not our Phantoms, our Royals, excuse me, came out and played really well as well. They had 11-10, to they scored immediately pretty much. 449 into the game, they were able to get a Grant Cooper goal again. Coop stepping up, having three assists in the first game, a goal in this game. Hell of a preseason for him. Garrett Cissery and Patrick McNally were able to get the assists on that. Then he were able to get one by Patrick Bojkoff, assisted by Jacob Pritchard, who also, of course, had the goal, and then now is an assist in this game, and Joshua Winquist. And then, unfortunately, Adirondack was able to get a nice deflection goal at the end of the first there by Ryan Smith, assisted by Monza. And Joe um, Masunas, I guess is how you say that. And then in the second period, they got a power play goal. You don't want to put the teams on the power play, obviously. That Nick Rivera was able to get from Nick Hutchinson and Blake Thompson. But Redding answered right back a few minutes later. That one goal was at 14-16 in the second. They scored at 17-47 in the second on the nice wide open net assisted by McNally and Josh Lundquist on that power play. And that was a nice looking power play there. When it came to that, then the Reading Royals got that insurance goal by Jacob Pritchard, again playing a hell of a preseason, assisted by Kenny Hosinger. So this team really, really, really is playing a very, very complete game to start the preseason. That's exactly what you want to see against the Thunder, the Anirondack Thunder, 29-24 to in the shots for that game. So a very good start to the preseason. Obviously, it's just the preseason. We want to see what our Reading Royals are able to do when the season kicks off, but they have a talented team. They have fun guys to follow. Obviously, they have one of the most talented goaltenders in the ECHL in Kirill Ustamenko. And then smartly, too, the guy that played this game, Pat Nagel, they brought in a guy that's just been around the AHL, been around the block, been around the ECHL, and is someone that's just good for young goaltending. Because you have two young goaltenders, obviously, in Kirill Ustamenko and in Ryan Ruck, 
So you bring in Pat Nagel, who's a veteran who had 22 saves, allowed two goals, but a 91.667 save percentage. So still played a good overall game. They put in Alex uh, Saka, Saka, Saka Relopoulos, or whatever you say his name again, and obviously he was not able to win this tilt. Either Kirill was the backup for Pat Nagel in that game, that Pat Nagel was able to play a good game. The 34-year-old out of Bloomfield Township, Missouri, was able to play well. He's had experience um, when it comes to the AHL with the Lake Erie Monsters, the Rochester Americans, and the Grand Rapids Griffin, Stockton Heat, among other teams, and then ECHL, the Toledo Wally, and the Fort Wayne Comets. So he has a lot of good experience when it comes to the ECHL and AHL level. Obviously, he's not a guy that you think is going to work his way up the ranks at his age, but he's a great guy to have in the minors, in the ECHL, the double-A level, to kind of mentor along the um, Kirill Ustamenko's, especially of the league. And then if you're able to find in Ryan Ruck kind of that that diamond in the rough guy that developed slowly from starting in the Southern League to being at at college, and then, of course, now coming to a lesser college in his final year, he went from Northeastern to Colorado College and played all right there, and then went into the Southern League. So you have to see how he's able to develop at the ECHL level. And I think it's smart to have that young guy in. So, or that, that veteran guy with the young guys, excuse me. So let's go over who I would say my players of the game for the second game would be, would be Pat McNally. He was able to have the two assists. Joshua Winquist was able to have the two assists. So I would definitely um, give it to him. And then I would give the third, um, obviously, he also played a heck of a game, Pat Nagel. He did exactly what he had to do. So if we want to get four stars, we can throw into Pat Nagel. But I would give the third to Frank Jachar for playing physical, for getting a um, goal in this game, and really just playing a good overall game in the first two preseason games that you expect from him. He's a guy that obviously everybody loves down there in Reading, and he's a guy that you're going to continue to keep loving if he keeps playing with that fighting mentality and that physical aggressiveness that makes him the best player he can be. And that's exactly what we saw. So that would be my players for the second game. I hope you all enjoyed this Reading Royals preseason recap. It was a great preseason for our Royals. Now it's obviously about getting down to business with the regular season. And I will have videos for that before the regular season kicks off. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out. Stay safe and enjoy the ECHL season. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above at the easy-to-use widget. Peace, peace and love, everybody, and go Royals.